Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Brandon, I'm an acting and performance coach, and I have another Jump the Line request, again from David, uh, another Angelina, uh, sorry, wow, another Angelica Hale request. He sent me an email, he's actually sent me two, and I was gonna just read this because it was nice. Hi Brandon, I know I just jumped the line, but I gotta do it again. Angelica's coach just posted another video of her working with Angelica uh, that I think you will really enjoy. It showcases Angelica's personality and her strong desire and commitment to get, quote, more better. And as a bonus, you get to hear her sing her golden buzzer song, Girl on Fire, six years later in a very relaxed setting rather than on a stage in a talent competition. It has a completely different feel. Well, David, I hope, I hope I don't disappoint. Uh, so this is Angelica Hale, Girl on Fire, six years later, so that would make her uh, 15. Thank you so much for being here. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Check the description for all my social media links, including a link to the Patreon, Discord. The Buy Me A Coffee is going away. I'm going to start. I'm still going to be taking Jump the Line requests, but I'm gonna just going to set up a, a link for PayPal to do that. That way, it'll just make things simpler for everybody, I'm sure. Uh, let's just jump into this music and enjoy it together. This is a lovely young lady by the name of Angelica Hale singing Girl on Fire. My famous new, 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 new vocal exercise, and I know you like this. Noom, 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 noom. <laughs> she still got the gloves. Noom, 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 noom. Yeah. Wow, this is loud. Yes. Okay, it's, it's so, so cute. I but love we're it. We're working on agility and sustained note, and yes. we're working on that sustained breath. This exercise is like one of those exercises people are like, oh, it's so fun, but when you try to do it and do it right, it is so hard. Kill it, baby. <laughs> Wow. She's so sharp. Whoa. So focused. It's crazy. Hold on, you push it too hard. I want them cracks. Making it quick, making it precise to those longer notes. Whole different ballgame. A lot of tension. Very relaxed here. Good job. Good coach. Wow. Much better. Much better. <laughs> that one, I could feel it. Watch her eyes right here when she does. She starts pushing a little bit there at the top. Everybody could feel it. Let's go. See her eyebrows start crack. breaking. Take a rest. No cracks. No cracks, baby. No, no cracks. cracks. One of the things I didn't know about with your story, baby, the physical challenges that you have to work with. Yeah, so when I was younger, uh, I had... I'd heard about this. So actually, yeah, I do have only 80% of my right lung. Yeah. Oh. So that, that's been a huge challenge for me, yeah. regarding breath support and just breath in general. And I ultimately had multiple organ failure, which led to me needing a kidney transplant because yes. my kidneys were blasted. My mom, she gave me her kidney. Mama! We love mama. Yeah. I actually had to get intubated too, which left scarring on my vocal cords. Yeah. So it's been a long way coming, That's but right, I yeah. will not and have not let any of that stop me. Meeting you has like given me so much motivation to get more, more better, yes. <laughs> more better. You know, to get better to get and more better. better. No, you keep it. That's good. You has taught me no excuses. You inspire me. Mm, you inspire me. You gonna give me these sustained notes before I start crying? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just to take a minute to talk about some of the stuff we just learned. I knew that she'd had health problems when she was younger. I had no idea uh, that it was that that dire. I knew that she like that it was life threatening, but I, I didn't know that there were that many like permanent ramifications. Missing half a lung is one. Scarring on the vocal cords is another. Um, having a, 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 an organ replaced is a major deal uh, for your entire life. So yeah, that's that, it's it's way beyond what I knew that she'd gone through, um, and so now is still going through. Um, it's very impressive. She's an incredibly positive, positive person. But I, I you know, I, I have noticed in my life that oftentimes the people who are um, the most compassionate, the most positive, the most cheerful, empathetic tend to be people who've gone to gone through some kind of struggle. I'd never wish it on anybody, but I, I love to see people 
who have gone through hardships and then take that pain and turn it into something beautiful. I want it big, yes. yes. I want to be AGT vibrato right okay. now, okay? I'll give you the big AGT Yes, vibrato. I need that big vibrato, come on. <laughs> That was nice. That was really clean. Good. That last one was way up there, but it was nice and clean. No, no. You gotta try it for yourself. No, thank you. I'll leave that to you. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. No, stop, 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 stop. So we got through the, the, the first bit. I, I just, I, I'm going to get into this song. I'm going to try, try my best not to pause it too much, but already, already I can see, feel, hear a lot of growth, just a ton of growth. There's a lot more warmth to, to her voice. And this part, I don't know how to explain. I know how to, look, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I have worked with people in the past, I have known when this is missing and I have done things that I think have helped people find it. But can I explain it to you? No, not exactly. I don't really, like, I don't. I can't. But what I can tell you is there's something else there. When she performed this when she was very young on AGT, it was beautiful. Her voice was great. But there's something else behind it now. There's just a depth, a warmth, a, a, a there's a reality in it. There's something in it that just makes it feel more something. I... <laughs> I really don't know how to explain this, but I do know that people recognize it when they see it. I do know it's a real thing. And I, I look, if anybody out there has, has worked with artists or is an artist and knows what I'm talking about and has a word for it, do definitely let me know because I have known this thing forever, but I've never, I've never been able to find like a term that really wraps it up. But I'm seeing that here. Her voice is, again, it's fuller, a little more rich. Some of that is technique. Some of that is just growth and age. But there's something more. That's all I got. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to listen to this again. And we're going to try, try not to stop too much, okay? Cheer up a little bit.
There's a lot that I could talk about right now. There's a ton happening. She's killing it vocally. And the performance is great, but the thing that I'm loving, I'm loving the most, is that I'm seeing her have fun. Not every note is perfect. Uh, she's not using perfect technique all the time. They're sitting in a car. I mean, come on, just to, to, at the bare minimum, to, 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 to use perfect technique for a song like this, you need to be standing up. I mean, that's probably the first thing a person would tell you to do. Don't sing this sitting down. But she's just having fun in a real way. There, there are little moments that I notice where it, you can tell that she is a 14, 15 year old girl and she's in front of a camera. So she's a little self-conscious and you can see little things in mannerisms, like when she's talking to her coach or whatever that, that, you know, she's trying to put on a good face for the camera and make sure that she does a good job, right? Like she wants to do a good job. But beyond that, there is a young girl who is just having fun. She loves to sing and she's just having fun singing with somebody she enjoys being with and that to me that for me if I were coaching children which I, I would not one of the main things you would want to try to do is make sure that regardless of anything else they never lost that sense of wonder at whatever it is you're teaching them whatever it is they're passionate about that they would keep that sense of this is what I love and she has definitely done that. That's 100% genuine, absolutely unchoreographed, completely sincere. She loves to sing. She's working on fire. This girl is on fire. Sing it at the time. Everybody stares as she goes by. If they could see the flame within her eyes. Watch her as she's lighting up now. Nice little runs hiding in there. Lovely. It's so good though. <laughs> like I'm turning red. Thanks for watching this video. That was beautiful. And if you want to improve your voice, all you gotta do is visit SharonPointerMethod.com. <laughs> Just use the coupon code Golden to get an extra ten dollars off when you join any of my online singing courses today. I'm a master <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. This was so much Girl, fun. Oh my god. You're so powerful. You got a power on you, Angelica. Woo! Baby, it's your voice, but Lord knows you got something in you, girl. Thank you, oh, thank you, I agree. thank you, baby. This was the most fun I I've know, had right? all week, Me too. all summer. Oh my <laughs> gosh! When you're doing all these exercises, something that like I've always observed on stage, you can't always remember. Okay, diaphragm. Okay, take that breath here. Exactly. Okay, take so you got to keep practicing over and over, so it becomes automatic, automatic. muscle memory. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I love it. Give me some Angelica Hale. Yeah. yeah. So tell me your nicknames. I've been calling you Angelica Hale. Yeah. But then you also go by Jelly. Yes. And Jelly. My dad used to call me Jelly Bird when I was little. Jelly Bird? And what else? Angie. A lot of people like to call me Angie. My and sister's name Angel. is Angie. <gasps> That's nice. Yeah. That's nice.
What's today? your stage name? What do you prefer to be called? Angelica Hale. Yes. Yes, ma'am. That's right. Show some respect. My name's Angelica Hale. You deserve it. <laughs> the crazy thing, though, Angelica, is that I saw you the other day for the first time. Uh-huh. I did not know you were so tiny. <laughs> I was like, I was so little. Oh, my God. It's like she hasn't grown that much since AGT. I was shorter <laughs> even then. Oh, God. I was looking at your comments. It was this one comment. It was like, I have a dream. And it's for Cheryl to call me, hey, baby. Oh, and I was sweetie. like, I was, And then like, before I came here, I was like, I hope Miss Cheryl calls me, hey, baby. Oh, I hope she says baby to me. Oh, baby, like, baby, <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, my sweetheart. Yes. Oh, darling. Oh, my gosh. You're almost definitely my baby. Most oh, my definitely. gosh, guys. Most definitely. <laughs> After going through so many things, I always tell myself, wow, it's crazy that I'm even here yeah. right now and that I'm able to do all this stuff. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm incredibly grateful. And even when I have my bad days, I'm like, you know, I've had worse and I, I've always gotten back up again. That's I'm still right. here. That's right, girl. And That's right. Through the thick and thin with my singing career, I've pushed through. And I'm sitting here with you right now. Amen. It's proof. I it's love it. Proof. Yes, it is. Give me some, girl. Give me some. Let's yes. do You're an angel, girl. So so many kids look up to you. So many older people look up to you. Because Lord knows I look up to you. It's like, oh my God, look at this little girl with this voice. Thank and not you. just the voice, but the spirit, the soul. And I remember you said, I want to be the <laughs> next Whitney Houston. I want to be a superstar. I want to be the next Whitney Houston. Wow. I want to be a superstar. Yes, you will, baby. Oh, thank yes, you. you will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that last little bit, how much of it is going to stay in the video. Um, David, if you're listening, if you're hearing this part, it's probably going to stay mostly in there for you. Um, but a lot of it might get cut out for YouTube. As far as what else I could say, <laughs> I don't know what else I could say. Look, she, um, her vocal coach said it all. There's something else inside. And that's kind of what I was talking about. There's something inside of her it's that joy that she brings to the art that she expresses that's something that a lot of artists have done over the years even if they're expressing something incredibly sorrowful or, or grievous you can see the joy a person feels when they're doing what they love and when they're 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 achieving what they're passionate about um when they're taking part in those moments there's a, a sense of joy behind it inside of it that just that feeling that they know they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, and it just feels right for anybody who's seeing it or experiencing it. And that's what I get from her, and, and I really, I'm just really impressed with how much she'd grown since AGT. Of course, she was nine, like I've said a bunch of times. She was nine when she did that performance at AGT. So, I mean, growth is inevitable, but that much growth is not inevitable, and it's really impressive. Uh, I'm really happy that I got a chance to see it. Thank you so much, David, for requesting it. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Check the links for all the stuffs and things. And yeah, I guess that's just about it. So please remember, as always, to be kind to each other. And most importantly, be kind to yourself.